Hello. I'd like to take you on a little journey. And it's somewhat of a personal testimony, I guess you will. So please bear with me. As I began in 2008, everything started in 2008 for me when I lived my axe retreat in May of 2008. And after that, a spark became in my heart to serve in a deeper way. And I got a call to serve as one of the confirmation teachers in the fall. And I accepted. It was my son's time to do his confirmation. So I made the commitment. I was told it's a two-year commitment. Go ahead and try it. So I tried it. It was very overwhelming at first. I did not feel like it was my calling. And I kept thinking like, this is just not for me. I don't think so. I don't think this is for me, but I did it. I'm somebody who makes a commitment and I stay with it. Well, Father Ogin really saw something in me that I didn't see in myself, which is a lot of times that happens to us, that we have something in us that we can't see ourselves, but somebody else can. So he would ask me regularly. This was after my two-year time. So he would ask me regularly if I wanted to come back to, to youth ministry and that God was calling me. And I kept telling him, I don't think so, Father. I don't think God is calling me. And he said, well, keep praying because God is telling me that he's calling you. So God has a funny way of calling us. He called me to be the director of the Teen Acts in 2011. And I also attended a life-changing moment. Another one was World Youth Day with my son. So many times we are called to a deeper relationship with Christ through our children. And that's happened to me multiple times. As when my son was young, I was encouraged to be more active when he was a baby. And I took upon that challenge that God was reaching out to my heart. And then once again, in teaching the confirmation and then taking him to World Youth Day. While I was in World Youth Day with however many millions of people were there in that Air Force base where we were there for the mass with the Pope for the 24 hours that we were there, it changed my heart. It gave me a heart to love the youth and to serve them. That fall after I came back from World Youth Day, I did the Teen Acts Retreat. It was life-changing as well. It cemented my heart to love the teens in a way that I could not even imagine. Serving them in those ways, it still touches my heart. So fast forward to the next year, 2012, I was one of the members who was on the core team to start Life Teen. We started Life Teen with 12 of us. And that was in 2012. That was another thing. That journey just took me on so many unexpected places. Seeing God in the mountains of Georgia, going to the hills of Kentucky and Alabama and zip lining through all of these places with all of these different religious people that were so beautiful and so giving and loving. And all with the eyes of the teens. I make this video letting everybody know that I have come to the end of my journey in this particular ministry. And I say this with a full heart of so many experiences, but it's time for somebody else to take this over and to make it what's to come. I have run my course on doing this. And I am just making an announcement that this is going to be my final year. So I'm going to see this next class through. And then I will be retiring in the summer of 2025. I wish everybody the best. And I'm here to help with whatever may come with Live Teen, Teen Acts, and Youth Ministry at St. Patrick's Church and the Diocese. We have been founding members of so many things in youth ministry world. 
And it's so exciting to see Life Team growing in parishes that were just wishing that they could have it. That's how we started at St. Patrick's. We started on a wish and a prayer from the parish of St. Anne's in Capel, Texas. They would come and do their ministry here and do their work every summer. And my sons would help in that. And that was another place where that sparked that joy in my heart to start something like that for our kids at our parish. And I want this to continue. I beg of somebody to listen to the promptings of God. Even if you don't think that you're the person for this, God is calling you and he has already fully equipped you for this role. It might be scary. Believe me, it is. This is scary to me. It's scary to me to think about my life without life team. But my family and I have made so many sacrifices to make this ministry what it is. And it's time. It's time for me to take time with my grandkids and with my husband. And I am looking forward to my next chapter. I'm looking forward to being able to grow in a different way spiritually and to serve in a different manner. I have a servant's heart and I will always be a servant of the Lord, just in a different place. God bless you all. Please pray for me in this final year and pray that we find the right leader for all of these ministries that are so blessed in St. Patrick's Parish. God bless you all.